coming to you from St Kilda's Botanical Gardens with palm trees and autumn leaves, introducing Hocking Stewart's Autumn Market Update. Hi everyone and welcome to our property management update. We have just completed the busiest three months in the history of our St Kilda office and there's much to report, isn't there Beth? Yeah, there is Ben. Look, um, from January to March this year, we've actually rented 140 properties. Wow. Um, there was average days on market of only 14 days, so they have been leasing very, very quickly. Uh, we've got a very low vacancy rate of 0.3%. Um, it's been fantastic, extremely busy. Yeah, they sound like really, really great statistics. We've had some great results on the leasing side. We had 202 at 115 Tennyson Street, which was a one bedroom with a really, really big entertainer's balcony. We achieved 485 Beautiful. per week for that, which was definitely a record result in the area for Brilliant. an unfurnished one bedroom. Yeah. Another standout result in Elwood was 11 at 41 to 43 Spray Street. It was a large two bedroom apartment, mm. a lot of light coming in there with a large balcony, 700 per week. And over in uh, St Kilda, we had a one bedroom apartment, which was in an art deco block, yep. no car park, fully furnished, 560 wow, per week. that's amazing. Yeah, our landlord yep. was really impressed with that yeah, result. That's excellent, Ben, I'm sure he was. And don't forget that we have our yearly investor night coming up at the end of May. We'll have lots of expert speakers there to tell you the best choice of property to invest in. Great, it sounds like a really informative night, so hope to see you all there. Thanks. Thank you and see you next time. Bye. Well, what a great start to the real estate year it's been, not only for the marketplace, but in particularly for Hocking Stewart St Kilda, our office. Uh, we've had some huge results, some amazing results, mm. but there has been a few signs that the market might be just starting to cool a little. Uh, what do you think, Rob? Yeah, well, the population growth has kept us going really well in the last little while. Uh, what do you think? Two thirds of the uh, growth in Melbourne is migration. Yep and another third of births yeah. and of course people aren't dying as quickly yeah. as they used to so they're, they're, uh, yeah. so they're living a lot longer so yeah. but we are finding that yeah they're stabilizing a little bit having said that people want to live in the city they want to live around in these areas and we've had some awesome results like today yeah. that one in our Rimple. yeah Scarlet. 99 Rimple avenue just just behind us there went for a lot more than we expected uh sold for in excess of 2.3 million yeah. it was an undisclosed yeah. result Huge. 5 of 56 Ackland Street, St Kilda, which is a two bedroom Art Deco, just near the Dogs Bar. No parking. No parking. Sold for 8.55, which was an incredible result. People are still talking about it. And 73 Spencer Street, which is just next to the Peanut Farm, front and rear access, sold for 1,700,000, which was a jaw dropping result. So the houses and apartments, the Art Decos, are still going really well huge so perhaps if you want to take advantages of results like these and sell now it could be a good idea to ring our office and book an appraisal with one of our consultants we've already got a full auction book for april and i think may is nearly booked out already so good idea to get on the phone as soon as you can you know costa we're often asked by buyers about the process behind buying a property before auction just hoping you can share with our viewers some of your thoughts and insights behind this. Yeah, it's a really good point, Julian. A lot of properties do actually sell before auction. It's just much more common than what you may think. And it pays to know how it can work in your favour. But we firstly do recommend you speak to the agent that you're dealing with to work out what their best steps are to make your next move. And that's right, Costa. A couple of benefits in moving on a property before auction is that you might be able to get in before some further competitions added to the property on auction day. Furthermore, it also gives you a great advantage in perhaps adding some conditions to the property or to the sale uh, in your offer that you may not be able to get when you're buying under an unconditional basis on auction day. That's right Julian, there are however some limitations. The reason that auctions are so desirable is that it's the most transparent way that you can buy a property. You can see exactly who you're competing with on the day, whereas the private sale you sometimes lose that transparency, you're not quite sure exactly who you're competing with. Thanks Costa, so we hope that's been helpful to you. If you have any buyer inquiries for us, please drop us a line, we'd love to help. Well, I hope you found that update really useful and something else you'll find just as helpful is this new look Red Magazine. It is chock filled with Victorian properties within the pages. 
Who knows, your dream home may be in there right now. So grab yourself a copy at any of our Hocking Stewart offices or at our next open. I do hope to see you soon. Bye for now.